off the east bank of the Cumberland River and across the water from the Tennessee State Capitol building, there's a look at Nissan Stadium in Nashville. The whole of downtown Nashville likely still reverberating with the sounds of the Titans taking the field a moment ago. They're ready for football as their Titans are set to match up with the Arizona Cardinals. Charles and I have been looking forward to this one all week. And off we go from Nashville. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. They go play action here on first down. And this one complete to Smith. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. Let's go. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. So quickly, all the way up at the 40-yard line. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. Well, no slow start here. A couple nice chunk plays back-to-back. -back. I love the momentum that they're showing here early because they did it both ways, right? Threw the ball on first down for a nice chunk of yardage. Came right back and ran the ball. Looks like they've got the defense set back on their heels. Let's see if they can keep this moving. And he's going to be stopped up at about the 47-yard line. Defensively, a solid response after giving up back-to-back -back first downs. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Back to throw. Hard. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Well, we always talk about how you've got to be quick when you go through your progressions, and here's another prime example. Trying to look downfield. He was standing in the pocket. But just couldn't find anyone open, could he? No, not enough time. They hit him and forced that incompletion. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Looking to throw. Hart. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off right around the 43. Home. It's a touchdown. It was third down defensively. They were just hoping to make a play and get off the field, get their offense up. Instead, they did one better. Pick it off, take it into the end zone. Well, they did what you said. They got it. They're going to have to come right back. They're going to have to come right back on, but happily, right? They put the ball in the end zone. That's the way you start a game. That's the way you set the tone. The extra point up and good. And it's now a 7 nothing game. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. Ready to go with their next drive and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And last time, decent field position through the pick six. Obviously costly. But they can't afford to just bunker in now. Right? They, good field position means go ahead and attack on offense. Try and press the advantage a little bit. They just have to be better with the football on this possession. So the last one, it didn't bother you too much last time? No, because it's, it's exactly what you're supposed to do. You can't have good field position and not try to take advantage of it. Sometimes the defense makes a good play, too. Following the incomplete pass, here they go again. Second and 10 from the 24. They'll have a first down past the 40 and finally taken down at the 44 yard line. A big play that time through the air. 31 yards. 
Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play. They picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Handoff comes to Anderson. Anderson a first down and more. And finally marked down at the 23. Coming in, he really liked his chance of having a big year based on a terrific offseason. And runs like that on opening weekend show that he's right. And the Titans going to signal for a timeout defensively. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. First down, Hart. That one almost intercepted, but it's incomplete. Not a good throw there, and it'll be second down. Well, nearly another interception there. That would have been two drives in a row with a pick. He's got to start taking care of the ball way better than what we're saying. Interestingly, that throw was probably worse than the one he threw the interception on last drive, but fell incomplete. And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. That's going to be caught. And he's brought down after a very nice game. Boy, how about the speed with which this offense can get down the field? It's taken them no time at all to get down here. And now they're set up with a first and goal. to throw hard and that is caught touchdown Cardinals a great effort there there to make the grab and the Cardinals are just an extra point away from tying this game extra point splits the uprights and that will tie our score here in this opening quarter of play So all even at seven now as they kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone. So we will start here at the 25. First down going nowhere as he stopped right at the 25. It's rare that a man his size can't at least push forward for a yard, but they stopped him there for nothing. You're talking about Tiny? You're talking about the little guy back tiny. there? That monster. Yeah, you're exactly right. And it takes a group effort to get a guy like that down and not let him find some space. The first guy in, he's got to take one for the team, right? Because he's just waiting there and holding on for everyone else to help him out. Gets past one man. Well, as we've learned over the years, just because a guy plays left tackle doesn't mean he doesn't have run block for abilities. And we just saw it there. Controlled the line of scrimmage, created a big game. That's kind of a bonus. He's there to protect that high value that you have back under center, but he creates space in the run game. Yeah, not only can he dance, he can mash, too. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Boom. 
Looking for Johnson, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 30, and the return will stop right around the 25. So the first interception of his career under center, and you knew it was going to happen sooner or later. It has to, and I know he feels like the world is just tumbling down at this moment, but there's got to be some veteran somewhere, some mentor that's going to tell him, hang in there, my man. Plenty more to come. Keep firing. Now another timeout here called by the team. Titans. And that's their second charge timeout here in this first quarter. They're down to one remaining. On first and ten, Hart. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. I think we can all understand what they're thinking right now. They take over the ball in field goal range after the turnover, so they've got that in their hip pocket. But they've got to go for the end zone and turn this into a bigger point. Their thinking is a touchdown is really what they should get from starting here. Getting three points at the end of this drive, that would feel disappointing. On second down, Anderson. And he's going to take this one down to about the 23-yard line. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? Well, good field position to start the drive, but under the gun now here on third and eight. Toward the sideline. Did he keep the feet in? Yes, he got them both down, says the side judge. And that's good enough for a first down. Looking to throw. Hart. On the right side, caught by Green. And he's able to get this down to the five-yard line before he's out of bounds. Three yards the gain there, second down. Looking to throw on second down. Hart. Oh, he'll want that one back. Incomplete. He doesn't drop too many in that department. Third down. It's rare that a receiver of his caliber would drop one pass, but that's now two times he's had his mitts on one and lost it. Yeah, and I don't think that they're going to lose confidence in him, though, because of the track record. Such a good player, maybe having a bad game, but I think they'll still go to him in a critical spot. Now they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. Off the play fake. Hart. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off with great anticipation. And not the first quarter that he was hoping for. Now two interceptions thrown. Well, the good ones, they find a way to compartmentalize, right? Put these behind them, have that short memory, but understand why. Fighting to get back to the goal line. I don't think he got there. He did not. Did not get back there. It's a safety. And Charles, at some point, you can't keep worrying about big play. Can this be perfect? You just have to get the ball out of the end zone. And in the offensive huddle, that was discussed when they called the play. Just get out of the end zone. But you know what's interesting? A lot of the times in the defensive huddle, they actually call a set and then say at the end of it, get a safety. So it's preached, it's coached, it's thought about. Now the free kick comes after the safety from the 20 as they bring the punter on to try and get some hang time here. Fielded just inside the 20.
Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And two interceptions thrown here in this first half. You hear it, no matter the sport, they say the great athletes, they can kind of have a short-term memory, but that's easier said than done. It is easier said than done, but I played with a guy who threw two interceptions in the first quarter of a really big game we were playing. Johnny Unitas? And no, not, not quite of that level <laughs> and not of that age. But I remember I was look, going for the age. Right? I remember looking over at him, and he was smiling. And I thought, what is he smiling about? It's because he had enough confidence in himself that it, that was a fluke. And he went out and played pretty well the rest of the day. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Off play action. Hart. He finds Bolden. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. Now how about this throw right here? Had to throw it to the left sideline, and you know the timing's got to be correct on this one. Ball's got to be right where it needs to be, and it was. That's because he had great arm strength on that one, able to drive the football. Quarterbacks love it when they can show off their arms. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Back to throw. Hard. He sets to fire deep. And here's another interception, the third of this first quarter. Picked off at the 12. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Well, his arm strength, never an issue, but this one winds up in the wrong hands. Oh, the coverage here is just terrific because when it's done really well, sometimes you can't distinguish whether it's the receiver or the defensive back the ball's intended for. He actually ran with him in perfect motion and able to make a big-time play. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. And he is going to go down. They sack him on the final play of the first quarter. Through one quarter, 9-7 our score. After the sack, they'll come up now third and long. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised to see them run the ball here just to try and get some space. Oh, this is intercepted, intended for Hill. Picked off near the 26, and they will score. It's a pick six for the Cardinals touchdown. Well, dare I say it, it's kind of quid pro quo. Both defenses now with an interception return for a touchdown. Your vocabulary, sir, well done. Point after, right down the middle. And that makes this a nine-point game. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Tennessee offense about set and ready to go. Throwing after the interception. Moon. Blitz coming and down he goes. In that time for the sack, say hello to Chandler Jones. 2020 wasn't the year that Chandler Jones would normally have because of a biceps injury. Only one sack in the five games played, but he had 17 sacks in 2017, 19 in 2019. Let's play some numerology here. Can he have 21 in 2021? That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get it out to your running back and it could turn into a big gain downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short gain. On third down, George. And he'll get to the 29-yard line brought down there. He did well to get him eight yards, but it's still going to mean a call to the punt team on fourth down. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. Fair catch called for and made right at the 25-yard line. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And the Cards will take over first and 10. Ready to go with their next drive and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive or no? You just throw that out the window. 
I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. He finds his man complete. It's Marsh. And they work this well upfield across the 45. So many times in my career, I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. And a good physical run that time. He's going to wind up gaining five on that one. Something to watch here in week one of the season, tackling. Because you and I both know that in the preseason, a lot of these guys don't play a whole lot. Plus, the intensity and the speed really ratchets up on opening week. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans' 23. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. Now a throw out to his fullback is complete. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. So that, that was a very nice play, Charles, from a very speedy cornerback. And that is a situation where in a defender's mind, you just have to pick a point on the football field and think to yourself, I'm going to sprint full out and meet him at that point. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but he had to play diagnosed perfectly there. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. It'll go as a loss of eight and a tough result there on first and goal. And just 19 sacks as a team last year, the third lowest in the NFL. Yet this team still made the playoffs. With better pass rushes we just saw there, this team could have a longer stay as they seek a Super Bowl title. To throw on second down. Hart. And a quick throw here. That's complete. That catch good for eight, but still, it's third and goal now. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. A big play if you think about it right now in this season opener. It's third and goal. Operating from the gun. Hart. Eluding the pressure right. And this is caught. Touchdown. Wait, hold a second here. A flag down. Let's see if this will stand. So reverse the celebration. We'll see if they have something else in their bag of tricks. And isn't that always tough to watch when they score and you see the excitement and then when they realize those points aren't going to count, can they get it back together and find their way back to the end zone? So a long drive gets them down inside the five, but ultimately they settle for just the field goal. And I have to think that if maybe they were a yard closer, that would have made their decision tougher, and I think they likely would have gone for it. But in this situation, they just decided to take the three, and I think it was a smart move. On first down. It's George, and he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. So, CD, big changes for 2021. Of course, last year we had the expansion from six to seven teams in each conference making the playoffs. This year, the headline, the addition of a 17th regular season game. What did you think when you heard the news that this was happening? Well, my first thought, partner, was finally, because we've heard about a 17th game coming for a long time, and now here it is. So the beautiful part about all of it is that 17th game is going to be like these, these interdivision, interconference type games that are going to match up and play out over a four-year period. And that's kind of cool. And I was looking forward to seeing some of the matchups that were going to come out of that for that 17th game. And could that be the game that decides a bunch of division titles? Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. We remind you that coming up in two minutes, we'll again head down to visit with Jonathan Coachman in Orlando back for another year. He'll have scores from around the NFL here on this opening weekend.
And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. He's been the forgotten man in this first half. Not a guy you want to forget. Not only his first catch, first time they targeted him. That doesn't make any sense, does it? Not because at all. those are the types of plays that he provides. When he does come alive, when they do look his way, not only is it a big catch, it's a first down. Now we've got movement up front. I think this is going to be on the Titans. And that'll set him back five. Now Moon. And he will find his man on the end route. Complete. That'll go for a gain of seven. And it'll make it a second down. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. On second down. It's George. And he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. A yard in the wrong direction makes third down tougher. Third down and nine. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. And that nearly intercepted. Boy, for a guy known for his hands defensively, that's a ball he probably thinks he should have come up with. But instead, it's fourth down. So now the Titans are going to call upon their field goal unit here. It'll be a 49-yard attempt from the left hash. And that is no good. And this score will stay right where it is. Everything looked good. Good snap, good hold. Sometimes, though, the ball just doesn't want to go where you want it. And this one winds up no good. Ready to go with their next drive. And at the line, the Cardinal offense. And they will not get the connection there. It's incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes. But the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. Here's second and ten. Throwing again. Hart. Oh, the slant complete to Green. And the Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts. As they'll stop it with 25 seconds to go here in half number one. Throwing on first down. Hart. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far. It's second down. Out routes are always timing routes. And if the timing's off just a little bit, it can really throw off a play. It looked like he led him a little too much there. Yeah, there was a fraction of a second because he caught it, just couldn't stay in bounds. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Marsh. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. They'll look to throw again. And that's complete. It's green here. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. So first and 10 now from the 30. Again, he'll drop to throw. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. He hit his first. Now this from 43. And his kick is good. And that will do it for this first half. So we've reached halftime here on opening weekend. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach.
Okay, Coach, thanks as always to you and the gang in Orlando as we welcome everyone back in for quarter number three. We'll see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. And right out of the gate, they face what you'd think could be a pretty important drive. I would say so. You know, they're down two scores. That's not the end of the world. It wasn't a score. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off at the 38. That one is going to sting. First play of the third quarter and a turnover. And you have to know that at halftime, they spent a lot of time going through their checklist of what they wanted to accomplish to start this third quarter. Turning it over like this was not on that list. Not at all. You, and you come out of the locker room trailing, so that first drive to establish momentum is touchdown. A two-yard touchdown grab. And the Cardinals are looking good here in the season opener as they're able to extend their lead. So this looking more and more like it is going to be a successful kickoff to their campaign as they add on here. And partner, you know NFL coaches, they're on the sideline thinking about all the little things that need correcting. But for the most part, they've got to be ecstatic with the way this season has started out. Extra point up and through. And the lead opens up now to 22 points. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Tennessee offense about set and ready to go. And last time, one play interception, so this offense, they should be fresh. <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. And I can't wait to see what they decide to do with play calling because a one-play drive where you throw an interception, a lot of people think the very next time out, run the football, don't give them a chance. Maybe play action? I think maybe you go play action, show your quarterback, get a little confidence in him, and let him fling another one. Finding some room at midfield. Fights through, and now a crease. And finally marked down at the 42-yard line. Well, we talk all the time about playing situational football, and right now I think the scoreboard is dictating what they need to do. Where they are in this game, they've got to push the ball downfield, take their shots, try and get big chunks of yardage in a short amount of time. That was a nice play there. And it's a Titans touchdown. A big play there. 42 yards. And the Titans are able to close the gap just a bit. I don't think there's anyone who could possibly doubt how fast he could run in the open field. But if there were, he silenced those thoughts there. Out comes the kicking team here for the extra point. And that'll cut the lead down now to 15. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. Their lead down to two scores after the touchdown a moment ago as they start with a first and 10. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. 55 rushing yards now on the ground on just seven carries. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Now a run with Anderson. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. Anderson a first down and more. And he's got it across the 50 to the 47-yard line. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. 
So operating from Tennessee territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 47. Tenth carry now for Anderson. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. Well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to that and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Well, now they'll try the end around. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. But you said it earlier in the quarter when we saw a broken tackle then that we might see some missed tackles here early on in week one, and that's another one right there. Yeah, not a surprise at all. It will even out as the season extends because everyone will get used to the play speed. But right now, here in the early season, the advantage definitely goes to the offense. And shedding the tackle and now some room. Touchdown, Cardinals. A great play there with his first career touchdown in his first career game. And the Cardinals now adding on to their lead. And CD, we have seen some great runs the last few times we've been together, but I think we could at least put this one in our top five. That was a determined gallop there. And that, in a nutshell, shows you what this guy is made of. I mean, most guys in the NFL just can't do that. He absorbed the contact, refocused himself, and made a break for the end zone. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. I guess they have to feel a little gratified to at least get on the board last time, but still work to do. No doubt about it. I wonder now. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Second and 16. And before this second down play, we'll get a whistle, a signal, and a timeout. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. On second down now. It's Johnson, and this play a lot like the previous one, thanks to that stout Cardinal defense. Back-to-back, -back, they've been tackled behind the line. I see a shake of the head as he gets up, and you've got to imagine he's thinking, guys, you got to help me out. He's hoping his team can read his thoughts because he definitely needs some assistance. And he'll get it up here this time to the 21. Call it a gain of four, but not enough. The punt team going to need to be summoned here on fourth down. As much as I praise teams for being... In this situation, I wonder if maybe they outguessed themselves a little bit. Third down seemed like an obvious passing situation. They chose to run it and then get anywhere close to the first down. On now is the Titans punter, as he'll punt it away for the second time. His first punt, 45 yards. This looks good as well. Fair catch signaled for and taken just shy of the 30-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt, and possession will switch hands first and 10. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. They've really distanced themselves. They have put the pedal to the metal, I guess, so to speak. So definitely have them in the rearview mirror, don't they? I mean, you're exactly right. Being able to string together these drives that end up in points, it's almost like a run in basketball to create that distance, and they're on a really big-time one right yeah, now. It becomes contagious, doesn't it? It absolutely does, because oftentimes it translates to your defense as well, because they're excited about getting the ball back for their offense that's playing so well. Well, they are clicking right now, and not a whole lot doing there, as he'll get it up to about the 28-yard line. The second down play, not much better than the first, just a gain of one there. Got an extra defensive back out there for the Titans now here for third down. Looking to throw. Hart. 
And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. And while we may be looking at the scoreboard, this offense certainly is not because they're showing no signs of backing down, even with a three-score lead here in the third quarter. I think they keep taking their shots. They've seen blown leads happen throughout this league. They don't want to fall victim to it themselves. First down. Here's the run with Anderson. And some room to work. The 20. And he'll go out of bounds finally at the 7. 127 yards rushing for him now as he goes over the century mark here in the season opener. So he nearly took it the distance, gets him down inside the 10 for a first and goal. I'd love to be in his head right now because is he rewarding himself for a great run or is he kicking himself because he didn't get all the way to the goal line? And he'll be stopped up after only a couple of yards as he gets it down to the 5. I know he might be a little winded after that previous long run, but now you're in goal-to-goal -goal situation. That changes what you do defensively, and it worked for them on that play. Maybe try to reward him after that long run. We'll see if they go back to him again on the ground. A nifty move on the run, but ultimately stops short of the goal line down at the two. They get three yards closer, but still work to do. It's third and goal. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we've played three quarters. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Cardinals on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. They're looking at a third and goal here. They'll run it. Here's Anderson. And he is in for six. Touchdown, Cardinals. Taking it in from two yards out. And the Cardinals are closing in on a winning start to the year as they extend their fourth quarter lead. The point after is good. And that'll push the lead up to 29 now. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Tennessee offense about set and ready to go. And whatever promise they showed in the preseason has not translated into week one because they have not been particularly competitive here at home, no less. These fans just kind of beside themselves right now. A nice little screen. They get six on first down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Second down at four. From the gun, a run for Johnson. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play that time, and they'll look to convert on what will be a third and four. Moon to throw. And that will be incomplete. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone, and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. On now is the Titans punter, as he'll come on to kick this one away. A 40-yard punt, no return, and the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And this has been quite a performance to kick off the new year on the road, no less, as they try to finish things off here in the fourth quarter. And this is going to be a Cardinals first down as the tackle made at the 35-yard line. It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six.
Another tote here for the workhorse this afternoon. It's Anderson. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. 156 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Complete here to the right to Bolden. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. There's a beautiful throw there, and he's been sensational the entire game, moving it around, spreading it, hitting the right guys. And look, under normal situations, partner, I would expect him to come out of the game now. They've got it in hand. But you and I have been around this league a long time, and every time we ask head coaches about it, hey, why don't you take your quarterback out when the game's in hand? They just kind of give us that look like that's what he's paid to do. So it's a very unusual situation. I want him out. They tend to leave him in. They run it again with Anderson. And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. Carry number 20 coming up for Anderson. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old-school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. So up through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. Let's go, let's go. Looking to throw on second down. Hart throwing the out route incomplete. It's Smith. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Cardinals, they've got the football here as we get you reset. And they have just about put this one on ice as they've got it here first and ten. Quick throw, complete out wide here to Green. A good display of power, but it will only get him just inside the five to the four. Seven yards to pick up there. The defense can stop it twice more as they take a knee here. The defense can stop it twice more as they take a knee here. Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. So for the Cardinals, hey, you get a win, you get it on the road. You can't ask for much more than that to start the year. And they will head home next week to take on the Minnesota Vikings. Meanwhile, for the Titans, they go down to defeat here in the opener. And they'll be on the road next week as they get a date with the Seahawks in Seattle.